as Muslimin sometimes debate about unnecessary matters and we lose focus upon the main goal and we don't realize that we are in actual fact causing harm to the ummah because we are fighting over petties, things that are irrelevant, small matters. You know, I raise my finger this way or that way or I make a circle in salah or I don't and that's it. This guy, is, uh, he belongs to a deviant sect, that's it. Why? His finger. <laughs> it's a reality. These are the type of arguments, these are the type of debates that we have. That which means nothing. Let's talk about the essence, the most important thing. Are you worshipping Allah alone? That's a question we can, we can ask. And that is an answer that we have to give. Are you really following this Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's an important question. Because I say, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah What a beautiful statement. What did I say? I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. So the primary question is, do I worship Allah alone? That's what we talk about. And I say, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger. The one, what's the meaning of a messenger? Someone who came to us with a message. That's what it means. If I say this guy is that guy's messenger, that means he's just a messenger. He came and he delivered some uh, mail, for example. So you open the envelope and you see what exactly is there. And you know this message is actually from someone who has employed the messenger. In the case of Allah, it's not the issue of employment and so on. It is the issue of nubuwa, prophethood. And this is why it is called a risala. It's the message. The message. The messenger's duty is to deliver the message. I declare that I will worship Allah alone. That's, that's how I can enter the fold of Islam. So if I don't do that, I exit the fold of Islam. We follow? But th the point is made that look, we need to... Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance and let's concentrate on major matters, matters of learning. Whilst debating about a finger and a hand, we have lost track of the fact that perhaps we might not even be following the example of the Prophet at all. We might, be, we might not even be worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correctly. We have major matters. We treat each other in a way that is not befitting the Muslim ummah. We doubt each other, we backbite, we gossip, we slander, we hate, we are jealous of, we create problems, not realizing that Islam is the opposite of all that. We should be resolving crises, we should be creating ease in the lives of others and so on. 